Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at another easy SQL interview question. Uh, so this is problem 183, uh, and the name of the problem is customers who never order. Uh, I'm going to walk you through two different solutions. One is quite simple, the other one's also simple, but it's it requires a little bit more understanding of logically how it works. So uh, let's first get started by understanding the problem. So. Uh, the question here is, suppose that a website contains two tables, uh, the customer's table and the order's table. Write a SQL, uh, SQL query to find all customers who never order anything. So we have these two tables here. We have the customer's table, which consists of the customer ID and the name. Um, and then we have the orders table, which consists of the order ID and the customer ID associated with the, uh, with the order. Uh, as you can see here, uh, and using the above tables as an example, uh, return the following. So we're returning uh, the names of the customers that haven't ordered, uh, and we're going to be outputting them um, with the column name of customers. So uh, let's first start out by kind of writing out uh, what exactly is requested. So we need to output a list of customers. Right, so that's what the output is going to be. It's just going to be a single column of customers. Now, more specifically, they're looking for customers who never ordered anything. Never ordered anything. Okay, so uh, how do we identify a customer that hasn't ordered anything? So the way we identify it is, you know, if in the orders table, a customer ID does not exist for a customer, that would mean that customer never ordered, right? So for example, uh, in the orders table here, we could see customer ID one and three, which means Sam and Joe have both ordered before, but Henry and Max have not, according to this example. So uh, I'm just gonna write that out. So how do we identify customers who never ordered anything? Uh, customers with no ID in the orders table. It's that simple. So uh, one quick way to accomplish this, it's pretty straightforward, right? So, hey, give me a list of, uh, you know, customer names from the customers table where the ID of the customer is not in. Uh, and then you just use a subquery to list out all the customer IDs in the orders table. Right, um, and then give this an alias. Um, so what this is saying here is first, uh, give me a list of all the customer IDs in the order table. And then using that as a subset, give me a list of all the names of customers whose ID does not appear in that list of customers with an order, if that makes sense. So I'm going to run this and I think we got it right, so let's see. Okay, that looks good. Um, I also want to show you another approach to solving this problem, which might make more sense if we're trying to avoid multiple queries, because as you could see here, we have a query here, and then we have a query here. So wouldn't it be a lot better just to maybe perform a join that allows you to you know, kind of get the same output? So. Uh, I'm going to restructure this in a different way, a different query that gets us the same result. So again, we're going to be selecting from the customers table. Um, but then this time, we're going to be joining to the orders table. And the reason we're joining to the orders table, uh, you, you'll see exactly why. So uh, let me first make this join here so we're connecting the customer table based on id equals o dot customer id um, and we just want to output the name of the customer okay so the reason that we're performing a left join to the orders table is because we're going to be able to get a whole list, an entire list of all the customers. Then we're going to slap on all the records that happen to have an order associated with it. 
Um, and in the event that there's no order associated with it, then the customer ID in that case will be null. So to clarify why exactly that join works, uh, here's an example, or really here's the output of what you would get if you were to left join uh, the customer's table to the orders table. Um, so this is how the output would look. You would get something like this. So given this example here, we would have one row for each of the customers that you see here, right? Uh, and these details uh, pull from the customer's table. And when we join to the orders table, this is how the output would look when it connects. So uh, since we are joining the customer ID to the orders dot customer ID, uh, in the event that the ID and the customer ID match, that's when you would get um, a matching row here and you would see an associated order pop up. So you'd get the order ID and you'd get the customer ID. So same thing down here for Sam. Um, we got the ID and then we got the customer ID because there's a match uh, for that order. Now, in the event that there is no order that can map back to a customer, those fields will come up as null. So the ID or the order ID and the customer ID would be null in the orders table as a result of that join. And that's why uh, what we can actually do is look at this kind of data set and filter out uh, customers where the ID or the customer ID is null. And that's automatically going to list out all customers who don't have an associated order, uh, if that makes sense. So back to this query, now that we've identified why that works, uh, obviously put a filter here for where o.id is null. And that's going to ensure that, you know, after you perform this join, you'll at the very least uh, get a list of all customers, but then it's going to filter out only customers uh, that don't have an order using the ID field in the order table, uh, given that it's null. So uh, that should get us exactly what we need. I'm going to go ahead and run this. Looks good. And we're going to hit submit. Perfect. Uh, that was the uh, the right solution. So that does it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please leave a comment or a question below. If you have any questions about this, uh, please leave a like on the video and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more great content coming up. Thanks, guys. Yeah.